Veste Skins, o primeiro e único mercado de skins do Brasil. Anuncie suas skins pelo preço que deseja vendê-la e receba seu dinheiro de forma segura. Você também pode comprar skins com preço bem abaixo e revender no próprio site. Entre no link da descrição e confira você mesmo. Ele foi saindo da posição de posição. Ele rotou para o lado do Dark. Ele está procurando o Dapper no próximo. O Molotov está no lado do lado. Ele vê o homem que tapa o seu caminho, mas não consegue lançar esses headshots. Um outro lado de T-Side Force vem. Mas primeiro ele recebe outro headshot. Ele está procurando o Dapper no próximo. Fazendo damage a ele e o Dazzle. Fallen vai ficar mixed na rotação. E, so far, os CTs estão segurando o T-Side. Dapper com 1 HP, ele ainda tem esse frag no Fur. Mas de aqui, em uma situação 2 vs 4, com tão alto HP para ele, você deve imaginar que esse round deve fallar em favor do CT. Retail. Indeed, pressure is coming in, and Dazzle will go down, leaving Dapper alone to 1v3 clutches. Still getting the kills, actually. Two frags found by him in the interim, but not more than that. Taco will finally finish off the job, get two kills. And get Smoke back down, does not body block out by Mitch. The flashes do go over, he still could line up two frags. He couldn't connect the kills. Mitch takes him down, but further damage done to the T-side force might leave Taco and Mayan in a very good trade position. They're locked out here on pit and balcony. 25 seconds for the hit to come through, but Taco's still forced off, and Mayan spotted out by Dapper. Taps coming in, the T's are going to bear down his position. Dazzle could be up for a decent frag here from Graveyard. Indeed, Dapper gets that kill instead. And the See if the rifles can step it up. The Molotovs will send the idea that Mayan's been pushed out of position, but KNG still playing anti flash here. We'll swing it against Jonji, but couldn't get the spray together. Two players line up, but Taco still gets two of his own. Mitch turns around for a frag and gets both the players out. And now it's once again left to Fallen and Fur here on the. 60 seconds to the clock. They might go for an early execution. They've gone to some very, very low timers here. Fallen takes out Dapper, finally gets a kill and kicks off his start in the B bomb site defense. The sprays from the AKs probably should give an indication of what's going on here, but they have fallen for these fakes before. So all three of the CTs here on A will wait for a retake position. Fur could get flashed in. I think there was one going up. He does catch Jonji at the edge of the smoke, gets himself two frags on the midpoint point blank, but the M4 wakes it happen. It's fallen left alone here with the AWP getting himself a 3k. Dapper? Him jiggle picking, he's got all the info. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all right. That's an NA peak if I've ever seen one. The Ferrari peak if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Fallen gets dapper. John G can turn it back, but Fallen doubles up with the AWP, holding a decent defense to a three on three situation. But again, these early plays from the CT side are just shut down so efficiently by BNB. They stand at evens once again, though, and going into the execute towards the A bomb site. They have walked in to the majority of CT forces remaining. KNG will pick up Mitch, look back in towards the mid position for another, but only get tagged up by the Molotov, chased back by the AWP and PTR. He can't quite. Excuse me, he can't quite find that frag. Even no smoke to cross. He could do a lot of damage from here, but in the end just gets forced back to 57. Taco does get taken down, however, in the apartments. He's a dead man. And now the CTs will rotate out to their position, set up for the retake here. Dapper does fall to Fallen, though, so mid control re-established by the T's and very quick goes in the CT forces. KNG around the corner. Got Dazzle and John to deal with it. We get one and two. Looking for Mitch next for the 3k and controls his ammo and his aim for a tap to the head. That's the 10 as well. MIBR needs to get the bomb planned, but Dapper. Does have an opportunity. Fallen is actually going to go down. Two versus two, and this HG coming in for Jonji. Might oh. another bomb plant. No, it doesn't. It doesn't quite land. Lands a bit too far out position. Mayan planting under the rafters. But Jonji has a rival to work with. Flash in the AK of KNG picks up one, turns around against Jonji. Do you go back in against Mayan? Close range of 31 HP, but still the USP will come out on top for the T side and MIBR. And he's just waiting for Jonji to try and make a play. PTR's just trying to bait out the T's from looking towards a short phase, but Fallen's able to take one down. PTR can't find the trade. This could still be a long wraparound if they have bomb control, but he's going to start swinging up and Fallen will take him down. All the Mitch now in pit on site. One versus two, two T-side players, two very strong T-side players to deal with and everything. The swing from Fur has to be perfect. His back is turned. He sees the man and catches the spray. Back against the AWP though. Fallen's going to shut it down. Two frags for him. And MIBR. MIBR. Let's see what they're able to achieve with the light investment. Fast playing to the banana position. PTR with the AWP not able to connect. Oh, and the no. quick trade comes out. They might just continue to commit to the B bomb side. No. KG and Mayans. What is going on? This is a five on two. How is there no trades come through? Five Finally, it's going to be Jonji, but it's only with the incendiary kill. Not like this, Bears. Oh, that spray oh, from Dapper was so bad. Mitch 
Left alone, the SMG might deny the bomb plant, but that's all he can do. The trade's coming so quick. He might just do just that. Backup's coming. Here comes Dapper on the backstab. The Swag 7 in position towards mid. He could catch Fallen as the smoke clears. The AWP gets shut down, and Dapper's now gained a man advantage for the CT forces. John G's going to be quick to fall, though. Dapper's going to get aggressive. Picks up the M4, going to wrap back in against KNG, but lose out his fight. It's all to PTR to get four kills on the board. It's not going to happen. And Taco ends up AWP from Fallen firing away as splashes go up, smoke return. John G gets another kill, so three players left standing but for the AWP Fallen quickly takes him out and Ooh. turns around with a Deagle headshot. What a play from Fallen. That opens up the B defensive. CTs are on their way up, but the smoke to cross will not allow them to deny the Blanc Pond. You know, three versus three. Mitch looking for some sort of opening and he takes down Fur. But Fallen gets a return on Dazzle. Three frags for the Orpa. Got one player close range here at the smoke. Taco gets PTR. So it's all left to Mitch. M4 against two. And he peeks into both at the same time. 16 to 12 for MIBR. And Bad News Bears had the greatest of T-side halves. But unfortunately, it all... Está cansado de jogar mal? Então conheça o Guia Global. Um curso de CS feito para você poder aprimorar o seu jogo e poder evoluir ao máximo sua gameplay. Entre no link da descrição e confira você mesmo. Tamo junto. None of that to be seen here for Bad News Bears. They go to their T-side start. They will already lose the opening pick of the pistol round. Fur's going to be able to get himself potentially a second kill. Not quite. Mitch will end up falling. And Jonji could not tap to the head of May. And they now know exactly where he is. He will swing on Fallen and try to find someone ahead towards the Xbox. But too close against the CT forces as Fur and Fallen get themselves two picks apiece. And Dazzle is left alone. But it's going to be a very difficult task indeed. Able to find one quick train coming out from KNG. While his other two teammates are towards the upper tunnels. John G. Oh, oh, he needed to really find that frag. Meanwhile, the hit coming in towards the B bomb site. We'll see Dazzle dead. PTR desperate to try to get a pick back here. That's sprayed blind from John G. We'll get a pick of his own right. But PTR on 44 HP has got KNG at low in the back of the site. In the end, Fallen swings out with the scout. Fast player coming out for the tees, out through long. Mitch trying to look for an opening advantage, and he does have an opportunity, but Mayan's going to be out of strike. Him and Fur working together, and B and B not finding any opener, being aggressive through long and. Dapper just trying to lurk through the B-smoke. Can we further take that first contact against it? There's also no point of damage being done to the CT forces. Look at that from Fur. Slowly making their way into the B-bomb site. We are already seeing the rotate coming out from Fallen. The shot's not being hit. And Taco going to be able to trade onto Mitch. And it's all down to PTR left. One versus three. The AWP finally going to be able to connect onto one. Rather than going for the bomb plant, looks to try and go for the peak. Fallen though, the swing is just absolutely perfect. He's running so low on time. PTR finally going to try and get the digits in, but MIBR overwhelming him, and that's going to be Fallen to take PTR oh down. God, the CT of the Orpa Fallen standing by. KNG also they drops in. Actually, KNG gets taken out, but Man's on for a secondary kill. Fallen trying to hold off to the short position. The bomb is making its way up. The spray is in from Jonji to support, but Mitch goes down. So it's all left to him to recover that bomb on short. Take the pick back on Fallen in particular. Does isolate Taco back over on the B rotation. But no second smoke can go up. down to the cross. We could still lock out PT. Oh my god! The wall bank shot still faces in against Dapper. Can't take him out, but he's ready for Mitch. And Thor with the USP just couldn't quite finish the job. A great effort from the AWP though. Land that with the P250. So long range. But for BNB, this is not the great start to the best round that they we needed. Dapper at least going to try and bring it back into a four versus four, but the quick trade coming out. Full has already found two kills with this P250. And get his teammates into position. USP standing by, and it doesn't get anything done. Mayan takes him out, Fall and baits in the uh, shots and sucks up the HP damage. Mitch and PTR. In the two versus four scenario, the USPs will make their way up. I think the defuse kit was dropped early on on short. If there was even one in play for Bad News Bears, I don't even know at this point. Like, the round started so quick, they couldn't tell. Mitch trying to go for a knife, and Taco just executes him where he stands. PTR in CT, pressured down by the T-side forces, and I don't think anything's going to come out from here. AK is for Mitch and John G. They do manage to take down Fallen. That's a good frag. Smoke down towards the cross. They've got to get the next player out. CT Fur gets John G back. Mitch is going to tap through towards Taco. One on one for him. No defuse kit in. The Molotov to try to force Fur out of the corner, but he puts it a bit too deep. And I think this bomb's also ticked too far 
Farwell get out of dodge. Mitch will also look to run for it. As MIPR will get to Matt. And the rest of the T side just behind the smoke. But with the flashbang coming up, it's going to be Dapper yet again. The two kills being found from the AK. The T side are going to continue their presence. And they could actually get a bomb plant. This is big yeah. from MIBR. It's picking up a little bit of cash right here. But the Deagle still do some dangerous uh, damage. Let's see how, bad, how much bad news Bears will lose in this round. Three players stacked up the CT. Nade's going to sail right past KNG. He finds Dapper, spams his way through. Taco gets a kill of his own right. Man advantage. Mitch is low. AWP for PTR traded out for the AK. He's the last man standing, though. And MIBR find the last couple of picks as the CTs get destroyed by Deagles. I don't know how they managed that. Bad news, Bears should have had that round by all accounts, but the kills come in. And the CTs fall to pieces.